people are counting on you. To do what? To get on over there to Berlin and beat those Nazis. Well, the triumphant story of track and field legend Jesse Owens and his trip to the 1936 Berlin Olympics where he scored four gold medals and showed the world uh, this proud African-American man and the strength of the United States in the face of the rise of Nazi Germany has been told many times. It's a very well-known story and now it's been brought to the big screen uh, in a new movie called Race. Well, aside from the fact that this movie at 137 minutes is way too long. The first half sort of drags out Jesse Owens' story. We learn that he went to Ohio State University where he became a track and field uh, sensation. He set many records along the way. He forged a bond with his coach, uh, who was Larry Snyder, played here, by the way, by Jason Sudeikis in a rare kind of dramatic turn. He's very effective, I thought, in this movie. Uh, problem, Coach? I uh, know. You want me to do it again? Yeah. Uh, where I thought this film really starts to take off is where it gets to these uh, very controversial 1936 Olympic Games where Adolf Hitler clearly wanted to show the world how strong Nazi Germany was going to become. Uh, this was a perfect propaganda opportunity. Hitler even brought in his favored filmmaker, Lenny Riefenstahl, the very famous uh, documentarian who was hired to actually portray these games and uh, send that message out to the world. Well, what she wound up doing was showing the greatness of Jesse Owens, as it turns out. Uh, now, the Americans had threatened to boycott these games, and that's effectively told in this film as well. William Hurt plays the leader of that movement to uh, keep them at home. Jeremy Irons plays Avery Brundage. He later became the head of the International Olympic Committee, uh, but here he is fighting to uh, get the Americans to the games, which he does with, of course, Jesse Owens, who turns out to be the big star. Jesse, you have a chance to strike a powerful blow. Stefan James plays Jesse Owens, and he's fine, but I didn't think it was very compelling. At least maybe the writing of this character seemed kind of bland. I really wanted it to rise up and excite me, and it really didn't. Although the recreation of these games is exceptionally well done. It's shot at the actual stadium where it took place in Berlin. Director Stephen Hopkins gets that all right. And the second half of this movie, dealing with those games and all the controversies therein, uh, plus the inherent racism and anti-Semitism, are well detailed in this film. It's worth seeing definitely as a history lesson. It's entertaining in its own right. I wish it had been better, but nevertheless, if this subject matter interests you, I say go.